Hey guys, Major here, and welcome to Hardline Hype. Hardline is literally a couple of days away, so if you, like me, are very excited for its final release, you are going to be interested in this video as I'm going to be going through all of the maps and game modes that are going to be available to play in the new game, so stick around. We're going to kick off with the maps because that is my personal favourite part of any Battlefield game. So starting off first we have Bank Job and of course we got to play this in the Battlefield Hardline beta. Bank Job is set in of course a bank and it's suited best to the heist mode. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be a map that's available to play on any other game mode as I can't really see it working for Conquest as such or even Hotwire. But for a close quarters, team deathmatch and heist game map, it is looking very promising. Next up we have Derailed and this is actually set in Los Angeles in the, in the sewers. You might recognise it from that part in Los Santos in GTA 5, a pretty nice little area. There's a couple of factories set around here and there's a railway line that you can blow up and it was, is going to come crashing down with a massive explosion. I'm guessing that this is going to be a pretty large scale map, one of the largest ones in Battlefield Hardline. So I'm guessing it's going to have Conquest, Team Deathmatch. We have seen the Rescue Mode played on this map. Overall, I think this map's going to cater very well to a large amount of the game modes. Next up, we also have Downtown. Now, we've had a chance to play this map twice now. And it's honestly not been my favourite. I did enjoy it in the first beta, but I didn't play a lot of that beta. But in the second beta, I think I probably played it a little bit too much and kind of tired myself out of this map. It does cater very well to Hotwire and Conquest, and when we played it, Heist. It might sound strange, but Heist actually played out very well on this map, as did Blood Money. So again, this map is pr a pretty large map, and it's probably going to cater very well to the majority of the game modes in the game. Next up, we have Dust Bowl, the last one on this list that we have actually had a chance to see and play. This actually is, I think that this has actually been confirmed to be the biggest one in the game, and it is pretty small, for a Battlefield title at least. It's big enough though, it, ca it caters very well to Hotwire and Conquest from what we've tried, so I'm very, I'm looking forward to see how Team Deathmatch plays out on this, as I, as I can see it working very well around the B flag. Next up we have Everglades. And we have actually seen gameplay of this, but we haven't had a chance to try it out for ourselves in a beta. And its I think it's set in Florida, don't get me wrong, but it's around some sort of swampy areas. And it used to be called Gator, so that's why it's, that's where it gets the, the swampy theme from, at least. Again, it's quite a large-scale map, very outdoorsy, and it's probably going to cater very well to the majority of the game modes. Next up, we have Grow House, and this is... We have seen gameplay of this as well. And we've mainly seen gameplay of the rescue game mode. I'm going to get onto all of these game modes in a minute, so make sure you make sure you watch to the end for that. But it looks pretty. It looks very close quarters. Probably going to cater very well to team deathmatch and rescue, possibly even heist. Not too sure about conquest, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Getting into the last few now, we have Hollywood Heights, and I, this is probably my the map that I'm most looking forward to trying. From what we've seen in the trailers, it's got a lot of micro-destruction, shooting through walls, stuff like that. Very close quarters, going to cater very well to Rescue, probably Heist and Team Deathmatch. So personally, that's the map that I'm looking forward to the most. Can't wait to get it and try it. Second last now, we have Riptide. This kind of reminds me of Sharky Peninsula from Battlefield 3 in the Back to Karkin DLC. We've, so far we've seen the rescue game mode and heist played on this map in other people's gameplay. It looks pretty big and open so I'm guessing it might cater very well to conquest as well. And finally we have the block. This is honestly my second most anticipated map. Similarly to Hollywood Heights it has a lot of micro destruction. It's set around a residential area and a shopping mall so hopefully we're gonna, it's going to cater very well to team deathmatch, rescue, heist possibly and I'm kind of hoping it's going to cater well to Hotwire as well, just with, just with it being the residential urban setting. So that's everything we have for the maps. Let's move on to some of the game modes that are in Hardline now. First up, we have Blood Money, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to read these descriptions straight from the horse's mouth. This is straight from EA Dice and Visceral. 
So blood money, a huge pile of loot has been intercepted in transit. The criminals are fighting to steal the money, while the cops are trying to secure it as evidence. Each team is trying to secure the money in their team's vault, but it's not safe there. Raid the enemy's team vault to help your team score the most money. So we have actually had to, had a chance to try out this game mode before, and it worked very well. It was probably one of my it was probably my favourite of the two game modes that we got to try in the first beta. Very looking forward to that. Then we have Conquest, a battlefield staple. Conquest is based on the idea of controlling a base. Capture a base by standing near a flag on foot, in a vehicle, or in the skies. If your team owns more flags than the enemy, you'll slowly reduce their tickets, which are their ability to respawn. The first team to run out of tickets loses. So of course we've seen this in all the, pretty much all the Battlefield titles in the past. An iconic game mode for Battlefield, I'm glad to see that it is still in there. It works very well from what, we, from what we've tested as well. Next up we have Crosshair. This is the second competitive mode. In Crosshair, a former criminal turned state witness is on the run from his former crew. The criminals are trying to erase the VIP's face from the world, while the cops are trying to get him out safely. Once again, there are no second chances. One death and you're out for the match. So this is one of the two competitive focused game modes that are going to be in Battlefield Hardline. Now, if you're going to want to play these game modes competitively, you are going to need the premium service. Check out my last video to learn more about that. Next up, we have Heist. We have tried this one before and it was a lot of fun. I've also done videos on this as well, so make sure you go and check out all of them to see my perspective of it. Heist is all about pulling off that big job or that perfect score. The criminals are trying to infiltrate a cash field vault and the cops must regulate them. Once the criminals break in, they have to nab two bags of cash and jam out with them back to each of their two base points. Again, it works very well from our testing. Next up we have Hotwire. The criminals are trying to steal a list of marked cars while the cops are trying to repossess them. Use the driving skills to catch up with the enemy and bring a friend riding shotgun to take them down. Out of all the game modes that we've tried so far, this has to be my absolute favourite. If you don't believe me, when it comes out, get a group of friends, get in the van, get a couple of people hanging out the windows with grenade launchers, find a car, drive past, blow it up, see the explosion, you will literally have the most amount of fun in a video game ever. It is just the best. We have Rescue. Rescue is one of two competitive modes. This is a cop-centric mode that lets you step into the boots of a SWAT operative tasked with saving innocent lives from the hands of the criminals. Lead your team carefully into dangerous environments and get the hostages back to safety. Be careful though because there are no second chances in this mode. And finally we have Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch is an infantry only and has the easiest objective to understand. Shoot the enemy team more than they shoot you. So there you have it, that is all of the maps and game modes that are going to be available at launch in the Battlefield Hardline base game. Of course we're going to be getting more maps and more game modes with the new DLC, which is included in the premium service. As I mentioned earlier, check out my last video to learn more about that. But anyway guys, I hope you have fun playing the Hardline game. I'm not going to be able to pick it up until the end of June just because of exams, but I am definitely going to be keeping on top of the latest juicy news on it. So if you enjoyed, make sure you absolutely smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.